Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so I am going to talk to you about a product today, which I didn't actually originally buy. Um, I live in the family home, um, in the family bathroom. I'm very, very fortunate to have endless amount of products which different people in my household buy. So I love to review, love to try out. I buy a lot, I have to admit, I've got a lot of my sort of go-to armor of products to use. But the product we're going to be talking about today is one which you probably wouldn't necessarily associate with men's hair, but sometimes don't let that scare you away. Whether you're a man looking at a product and you think mm, it's a bit like a, a could be used for women's hair, or if you're a woman looking at a men's product thinking not necessary for woman's hair because you would be surprised now for me i have got longer uh, length hair so it's past my chin now as you can see i've got like a man's top knot here um i've had got some uh, lighter highlights put through my hair which i had back in december but it really did change my hair texture a little bit but we're going to go into that a little bit more and why this was a choice of mine to use so today we're going to be talking about the ogx organix liquid pearl I'm just trying to, because I've got the camera here, it's a bit of a sheen showing off of it. So, Liquid Pearl Shampoo and Conditioner System. So, straight away, you can see that the conditioner is nearly, nearly gone. Just a little bit in the bottom here, about half an inch. And the shampoo is about down to here. Okay, so as I say, this was in my family bathroom, and I can be very, very honest with you, in fact, that the price of it was £8 each. Okay, so 8 for the shampoo, 8 for the conditioner, and that was purchased in a uh, store here in the UK of Boots, which is where you buy a lot of personal products, shampoos, conditioners, um, and all those sort of personal things uh, which you would need. So my mum actually bought this, so very, very close to my mum. She is a best friend of mine. Um, and my mum had very, very glamorous long hair, nearly to her waist, coloured, fine, but lots of it. So very similar. Um, I think that's where I get my texture of my hair from, my mum, actually. Um, so my mum's always looking for shine. So being that she's got very dark hair, um, she's always looking for shine. So she's always wanted to achieve that mirror sort of finish sheen on her hair. So anybody who knows who's had blonde or highlights put through their hair knows that if you've naturally had shiny dark hair in the past, really, really great, then you have blonde, then you really don't get a shine on it anymore, sadly. And then it can tend to look quite dry. It can tend to look as I always call it, um, and a lot of people would probably jump at me for that, it starts to take on the appearance of like rope. It can be quite sort of dry. It can be quite almost worn out. So it needs a lot more care, a lot more moisture, a lot more attention to it. So after I had this, I only, I, it's, it's not a regular thing I have. So I, um, in about the last 18 months, I had it once in the summer and once for Christmas. And then the prior year to that, I had it once, um, once at Christmas and then in the summer, and then I think about a month before that I had it a bit lighter. So I've not had it done very much at all. And I have regular cuts, but this time my hair's just got really quite dry. Now I've got on top of the dryness and it's back to sort of pretty much its great condition. I take uh, really good supplements and things for my hair. So it's growing through, as you can see quite quickly. Um, not of course, inches and inches a month, but the normal growth, rate of growth you'd expect. Now, a smoothing system, which Liquid Pearl is smooth and shine enhanced. So for me, I don't know if anybody would correct me on this, but um, I think I'm right. Smoothing is for if you've got a thicker texture of hair and it smooths the cuticle down. So if it's frizzy, if it's quite unruly, it helps smooth the hair down. So of course, if you've got finer textured hair, that's not necessarily always the best option to have. But yet, if you want that sheen, that sort of mirror finish, then of course, a shiny shampoo is well worth a try. Now, the great thing with OGX products, the Organix products, is that a lot of them are sulfate free. So if you imagine, a lot of people don't necessarily like sulfates in their products, but sometimes they can be good. So if you've got a lot of product built up in your hair, for example, if you're a lady what uses a lot of dry shampoo, or if you're a man what uses a lot of waxes, a lot of hair gels, all of those products, then if you put a sort of, if you think that that makes quite a concoction of dead skin cells, uh, oil, uh, uh, build up of oils in our scalp, then we go to wash it. Perhaps if you're not washing it with the correct shampoo, then you can get a build up. So that's why the sulfates are really, really great because they should gently cleanse and strip away um, all of that build up. But of course, sometimes it can be a little bit too stripping. So that's when it can be a little bit of an issue. So if you've got thinning hair, or if you've got fine hair or not necessarily that you're losing hair, but your hair's just naturally fine anyway, then sulfate shampoos can sometimes be a bit much for you. So that's why OGX products are really, really great because a lot of them don't have that in. They have a sulfate-free base formula. So for example, sulfate-free sulfates, I believe that's pronounced. Um, so they use something different. So they don't necessarily use those which can be quite harsh sometimes for some people. And of course, some people are sensitive to that as well. So all round, first appearance of it, source packaging is, I don't know why I said the word source there, 
<laughs> packaging okay so i can tell from this it fits in line with the, the rest of the range of the ogx um ogx or organ x products which is really great so you're seeing a bit of a trend throughout the range there so that's great packaging looks really quite classy yeah really really happy with that price eight pounds each a little bit more than what some people will pay on the high street but yeah not a problem happy with that does it work do you know what i was pleasantly surprised with this because it was in our family bathroom i'll be very honest my mum didn't actually go too much on it on this because she actually said that for um trying other different products she thought that she got a better shine from other products but of course very often what can work for one person might not work for another or it can so i thought i would give this a try now i was pleasantly surprised i wouldn't say that it gives a huge um a huge effect on the shine because i didn't actually notice anything different from any other sort of regular moisturizing conditioner or shampoo but what i did find is that right away from using the shampoo and we're going to lean towards talking about the shampoo now is straight away when you're using it it's almost like a different feel it almost elopes around the hair really quite smoothly so you're expecting to get this really sort of almost like heavy but sleekness so you're expecting your hair to be quite flat but i would say rather than actually liquid pearl it sort of puts life into the hair now with blonder textured hair from when i've had this done if i pass a straightener through my hair or if my hair's just sort of left i find that what happens is it sort of starts to puff out and it can look quite unruly what this seems to do is sort of elope the hair and then once it's washed in its condition and you leave it in for a couple of minutes whilst you're doing everything else in the bathroom, it really does calm the hair down and it uniforms the hair and it just brings life back. I can't necessarily guarantee it will make your hair absolutely shine. It does make the hair appear uh, like, a, like a nice health to it, like a nice vitality to the hair. I wouldn't necessarily say that it gives an absolutely mirror glass finish because it doesn't and it didn't for my mum's hair either. And she has black hair. So... Uh, very very long black hair and it didn't really alter the shine too much on that at all i always say for shine the best thing you can do is look after your hair so regular haircuts don't use too much heat and natural oils so like coconut oil avocado oil those type of oils which really pump that nourishment and then you'll start to get that sheen because shine sheen whatever you want to call it on hair is healthy hair so if you've got like blonde or you've had that recent sort of overly processed uh, hair color then you're gonna you're gonna find that a little bit difficult a shampoo like this can be great and a system like this can be great and it ultimately does look after the hair it does bring a nice bit of vitality back to the hair but i don't believe it works mir miracles on working uh, a really high class sheen and shine into the hair but having said that it is really really good so let's look at the product um okay so why do you want it so uh bear over with me just for a moment why you want it you are one pretty pearly bottle away from luxuriously smooth shining glossy strands call that taught me i should have put my glasses on shouldn't i <laughs> what uh what you do so apply shampoo generously to wet hair massage into a lather through ends then rinse the hair thoroughly after shampooing follow with conditioner okay so great so it's a 385 ml so as you can see quite a bit of the shampoo sort of left to about here none of the conditioner and i do find that's because you do have to use more of the conditioner um i don't know if that's the case with everybody but i do find that where it's not super moisturizing but it does put nourishment into the hair but it's not to the point where it makes your hair feel super super sleek it gives that vitality so you want a little bit of texture left in the hair um it, it just is the right nice balance. So even though I'm not saying this is 10 out of 10 on shine, it's a very good and a very nice system to use, particularly if you've got coloured hair. I think if you're looking for shine, then I think this is possibly not necessarily amazing from that aspect. But if you're looking for something where your hair is dull, your hair is quite frizzy, it's quite unruly, then this is certainly worth a try. And because it's sulfate free, it's going to be looking after. If you've got quite dry hair, it's going to be looking after that for you anyway. Um, so from that aspect, I think that it really does work very, very well. So for me, I think shampoo, really, really great. I'm just going to read you what it says here on the front here. So it goes, uh, luxuriate your strands in this shine enhancing blend with pearl extract in sea kelp. So pearl extract, I have seen in a lot of products and shine sprays, which I said to give that sort of of pearl it's an iridescent look to the hair sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i think they've worked more on the bottle to be honest to the pearl iridescence look rather than it actually working on your hair to be quite honest with you um i mean you would think that the best thing for sean would be black hair wouldn't you like my mum had and she didn't really see any difference at all nor did i to be quite honest with you after i'd seen it and my mum styled it um and for me it didn't really make the blonde parts of my hair shine like what it's saying here but however having said that it did 
really look after smooth and sort of uniform my hair. So from that aspect, I would certainly recommend it. Okay, so sea kelp is also meant to be really, really great for the scalp and for the hair. It's actually said to look after the hair and it can even make the hair appear fuller and thicker as well. That's just from my own knowledge in the background too. But sea kelp is really, really great at looking after the hair and giving that sort of that vitality and that health back, that sort of it, that sort of extra nourishment. Can you notice it in here? You can't, to be quite honest with you. But again, it does add to it being just a great shampoo product, to be quite honest with you. Okay, so it helps hydrate, revive. And I think that's the key word here. If you're looking for something which is going to revive, then this is great for you. Um, and smooth the hair to reflect light and give you a glossy glimmer. I would probably... I wouldn't say that that's great, to be quite honest with you. Discover silky smooth, healthy looking strands that are illuminated. Okay, so silky smooth strands, yes. Illuminated, no. Vibrant, in terms of health, yes. Full of shine, probably just your natural shine, to be quite honest with you. And it depends what lighting you're in as well, doesn't it? So from that aspect, for a smooth, sort of reviving, sort of shampoo and conditioner, amazing. Shine, not so great. So we're going to leave that one. We're going to move on to the conditioner now. Okay, so again, we've got exactly the same sort of message on the front here. So luxuriate your strands in a shiny enhancing blend with pearl extract and sea kelp. It helps hydrate, revive smooth hair to reflect light and give you that glossy glimmer. Discover silky smooth, healthy looking strands that are illuminated, vibrant and full of shine root to tip. So to be quite honest, exactly the same. The shampoo, they have got quite a nice smell. I have to admit, really quite fresh, almost not floral, but like you're outside, so you're getting those sort of quite natural tones. Um, it is quite a strong smell, but it's subtle at the same time, but it's more of like a strong, almost like slightly herby, I want to say. Um, so it's not unpleasant, um, so it is quite nice from that aspect as well. The shampoo is really quite light, it lavas really nicely. Sulfate-free shampoos sometimes need a lot of help with water to be able to lava. The shampoo lavas really, really nicely. And the conditioner, for me, I think that it could have done with being a little bit thicker. It's quite on the thin side for me for a conditioner, which is said to be sort of trying to help with shine. But on but looking at it, sort of, I'm trying to look at this as more of like a reviving sort of health nourishment sort of pumping conditioner and shampoo system. And on that aspect, it really does do that. Like I say, it, it smooths out unruly hair. It smooths out that sort of dryness, sort of the dry ends. I've got highlighted hair here. That's why I thought I would give it a try. Um, so from that aspect, it works really very well. So on the back here, it says, um, so I'm not going to read the introduction here again, but it says to wait three to five minutes once you've applied it to lengths and ends. Okay, and then... I think it was lengths and ends, working through the hair towards the lengths, uh, lengths and ends. Great. So from that aspect, it really works. I find that if you want a little bit more nourishment, leave it on a couple more minutes longer than that towards the 10 minute mark. And then you are left not with sort of that super, super sleeky where you can't do anything with your hair, but you do get that really nice revised sort of revitalized sort of health back into the hair with a little bit of texture so it doesn't sit completely flat. Particularly if you're looking at this and you've got fine hair, the last thing you want is a smoothing shampoo conditioner, which is just going to make your hair sit completely flat on your head. You don't want to be using too much of that. But however, this is reviving. It's all of those great things of pumping that health, that nourishment back into the hair. So it is really, really great. Somebody very, very kindly pointed out on my channel, actually, that there is a serum, which is the liquid pearl uh, shampoo and conditioner, sort of the third one to the team. Um, I haven't come across that to be quite honest with you, so I would be interested in trying that out. Um, but if you do have any questions or anything for me at all, leave them down below and I will do my best to come back to you. It is another system I am pleased with. I wouldn't say that I disagree with the shine. I just think that it's much more of a better sort of health pumping, reviving sort of system rather than shine. I think the iridescence packaging is really cool and they probably concentrated on that more than the actual product for shine itself but don't forget shine is that natural health of hair so if you get that right then you're ultimately going to have really nice shiny hair anyway um so i hope that helps um anything else please leave down below and i will do my best to come back to you i've really enjoyed doing this one please don't think this is a negative review it is a positive one i absolutely love ogx products and i think they are always really really great there's only about one or two which i've tried which i wasn't a, a fan of but then they've been really great for other people if not in my family on other people on my channel. Okay, so thank you very, very much for being here. Thank you for sharing this with me. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.